in every age, God has raised up men and women to meet the needs of the day. Now is that time. You are the one. Now is the time for saints. It's a little known fact that St. Therese's favorite male saint was Theophane Venard, a French missionary to Vietnam who was beheaded in 1861. Just to give you a sense, when Therese was dying, she asked that Theophane's relics be brought to her and that his picture be put up so she could look at him and pray to him. She said of him, my soul is like his. Wow. So who was he? Well, like I said, he was a French missionary, ordained at 23, went to Vietnam to serve the people there under a very anti-Christian government. So most of his ministry was in hiding uh, at the threat of his life. He was a saint of joy and delight. He was a comic actor. He took great joy in the company of others. But one thing that strikes me the most is that he loved his family so much. His mom had died when he was young, um, whom he loved very much. But he, and he was very close to his father, his two brothers, and his sister, Melanie. And it was, it's amazing reading him, reading his letters, because he, he writes so much from the heart, so tenderly. Um, and it expresses um, just a deep homesickness often. Um, often we don't think of saints as being homesick or being so deeply connected with their families, but he was. Uh, it's really, really moving to, to read. And I think he's a great saint actually to pray to um, when we have difficulties with our families or when we find ourselves separated, you know, as in this time of pandemic, which is uh, really common right now, to pray to him and to ask for his help, you know, uh, to, to be able to love our families um, but also to c console our hearts, you know, in, in this time. Um, one of the, he has many great quotes, but one I'll read. Uh, he writes to his brother Henry. He said, and for you, dearest little brother, still so young in years, you will remain long after me, fighting among the waves of this troublesome world. Guide your ship well. Let prudence take the helm, humility the rudder. Let God be your compass, marry your anchor of hope. And then, in spite of the disgust and bitterness, which, like a howling sea, will sometimes overwhelm you, never be cast down. Have confidence in God, and like Noah's ark, swim always above the waters. So let's pray to St. Theophane that we can have that confidence in the good Lord's love, his mercy, and his joy. And, and also just to pray that we can uh, really love our families well in this time through his intercession. <laughs>